fourth graders. Today we're going to learn how to create a say, write, draw, and read chart. This will be helpful when we do our summary this unit. When you're gathering information, it will be helpful for you to create a chart just like this to keep track of what information you're getting out of your article that you're reading for your summary. Let's begin. The first thing you'll want to do is take a plain piece of paper. You will need a marker or two to draw and write on this paper that we're using. You'll see from the picture here that I've divided my paper into one, two, three, four, five, six squares long and one, two, three, four, four squares wide. In each square I have something written that will help me when I'm gathering my information. Here's a closer look at our paper. On the top you'll see that I've written say, write, draw, repeat those four words in the top four boxes of my paper. I'm going to be using this to help me keep track of what I'm doing with the information that I gather from our article. Our article is about electricity and the way that electrons are always moving. So I've taken some information that I've gathered from my article and I've added it to my chart. The reason the first box says say is because in this box we're supposed to say the information that we're going to be adding to our chart. We don't write anything in the first box. We just say it. In the next box you'll see that it says write. Underneath that box we're writing some information that we've gathered from our article. My information that I gathered, one piece, was that electrons are always moving and you'll see that I've written it in my box right underneath where it says write. Next to it it's next to the uh, next to where I've written about my electrons and my idea right here you'll see that I've drawn a picture. Up here you'll see that I've written draw. Now this is the area where we draw a picture of the new piece of information that we have gathered to put in our chart. So because my article said a piece, my piece of information was that electrons are always moving I drew a picture of a lot of arrows moving around. That's what reminded me of the fact that electrons are always moving. If you have a better way to draw a picture and remind yourself of what that means, go ahead and draw a picture that you like that reminds you of how electrons are always moving. In this area it says repeat. Here you'll notice that I've left the box blank and that's because in this area we only repeat what we have written down before. So if I was using this chart correctly to remember my information I would say my piece of information which is that electrons are always moving. I would write that piece of information down in the next box. Electrons are always moving. I draw a picture of my idea that I've gathered, my piece of information, and then I repeat that information just using my words, not writing it down. And my piece of information is electrons are always moving. In the next box you'll notice that I've done the same thing. For my say, I'll tell you my piece of information that I got from my article. My piece of information is electrons jump from one object to another. You'll see that underneath right I've written electrons jump from one object to another, just like I told you. In the next box I drew a picture that reminded me of how electrons jump from one object to another. Now in my repeat when I get here, I know that I need to repeat what I wrote in my write box, which is electrons jump from one object to another. Repeating the information you gathered multiple times will help you remember it. And gathering information this way will help you to keep it organized as we add it to our summary. Once you're done adding this information, go ahead and add it to your graphic organizer that we learned how to make in the last lesson. Now let's review. In order to make this graphic organizer, you need a piece of paper and you need to draw boxes inside. So for me, I did six boxes down, six lines, and I'll add one more on the bottom. I wasn't quite long enough. So on your paper, you'll have six lines and then you'll draw three lines down to create your four sections of boxes. 
In the first line, you write say. In the next one, you write write. In the next one, draw. And the next one, repeat. In the first box, remember, we just simply say our piece of information. Then we write it down. Then we draw a picture. And then we simply repeat it again. Fourth graders, this will help you as you gather information for your summary. Now you know how to write to create a say, write, draw, and repeat chart. Good luck with your writing!